And to give us a bit more perspective on the possible implications of the Russian conflict on Jamaica, we are joined by financial analyst Dennis Chung. Mr. Chung, good evening. Thanks for joining us. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome. We're good, all things considered. Now, first of all, what would an escalation or prolonging of this war mean for Jamaican businesses and consumers? Well, it's, it's primarily, um, as was just said by the Prime Minister, on oil prices. That's the main thing. Um, we saw where oil prices shot up to $100. Um, some commodity prices could be affected. So the inflationary pressures definitely um, are going to be there, or I should say more, because we're already seeing that. Um, but you would see also that it has affected financial markets. Um, so that could have an impact on us, you know, just the, the level of confidence um, in, in the financial markets. Uh, but definitely on the consumers, it's going to flow through in terms of prices. And, you know, it's, it's prolonged price increases because we're already seeing high inflation. Um, so it, it's going to be a, a tough addition to what we're seeing already. You know, and the consumer, I think, is, is going to be feeling it a little more because of it, you know, already we have high prices, but prices will get high. I mean, fact is that we import, most of our imports is, is oil, you know, and that's a huge problem for us. So right, so it seems it's like we're pretty, much, there. It seems like we pretty much can't avoid it. So is there anything we can do locally as businesses and consumers? Should we start, for example, stockpiling on food or supplies? No, I don't think that's necessary. I don't think that's necessary. What we need to do is what we've always needed to do. Um, we need to ensure that we reduce our dependence on oil. And it, it's going to be a more medium term now because we haven't done it before. But definitely pushing renewable energies, definitely pushing for a good public transportation system in place that can significantly reduce our dependency on oil and also the foreign exchange rate pressures. Um, and from a local perspective, in terms of consumers, you know, look more towards buying locally made goods. You know, I've, I've always said that because... Um, you know, if you're looking at, at, at things from overseas, you know, it's going to be affected by the supply chain management, which is the huge problem now. So, you know, look more towards locally produced goods. All right. We have a slight uh, pop up on your screen. There. You can probably clear that. But uh, final question. Uh, Russian companies own Uaton plant and Port Esquivel operations and some of our bauxite has been shipped to Ukraine. Couldn't sanctions impact the already struggling sector? Um, it could, it could, because it, it's, it's Russian owned, so it, it, it could impact it. That's definitely something that we need to look at. Um, the, the, the hope that I have is that this won't, won't be a long war, you know, and it's going to depend on the, the reaction from the U.S. and, and NATO, um, definitely. Um, but I also hope, because it could have that impact on us. Um, the, the, the best hope that we have, as I said, it's a hope that this is a short um, situation. It will be resolved very quickly. And as you said, buy local goods. Thank you very much, Gen Dennis yeah, Chung, our financial yeah, analyst. Yeah.